In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to use the JSON API with Snatchbot. Now using the JSON API is a great way to add custom content to your chatbot. One particular use that I'll walk you through is for weather. Having the access to that API is critical, critical in this case because the information is always changing. It's not something static you can put in a chatbot once. It has to be able to be frequently updated to actually have value. So here's how you use it. First, select my bots from the left-hand menu, and then select the bot that you wish to use. In this case, I'll be walking you through the weather bot template. That is a great way to get to know the JSON API. You can download it really easily from the Snatchbot store and begin to customize it and really see firsthand how the JSON process works. So as you can see, adding an interaction has a JSON option, which is available here. Now there are a few things to talk about when you're setting it up. As JSON relies on the external addresses for where this information will actually be coming from, you'll be adding them as interactions. For example, this first one is looking to narrow down the city. Next, we're looking for time as well as today. And each one of these has different sets of connections built in to route someone through and give them the proper information. Now, when you have your URLs, you can easily verify them right inside of Snatchbot. And to show you what this actually looks like, I'll pop that up. And actually we'll need to start that one from the beginning. We'll test it just so you can see how it works. Let's say see it city, which is building off of this individual interaction here. I'll drop in Toronto. And I can go through and here you have the different options. Let's say today, 21 degrees Celsius, not too bad. And the remaining options as quick replies. Now, if you want the full in-depth seeing how the builds actually work, you can check out the Snatchbot Support Center with this similar title, and it'll give you the full top to bottom along with the PHP code and that can be used and for how these are actually built. But with that, we're at the end of our tutorial. I hope it has you well on your way to using the JSON API to build the best chatbot you can.